Okay, so we've now created our background and we've got text on our background. We're now going to look at how we can add images to our poster um, and use them to make it a little bit more interesting to look at because as it currently stands, it's quite boring. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hide my text, okay? Because for now I want to focus on the images and we'll add those back in later, okay? So the first thing you're going to have to do, you're going to have to find some images you want to work with. So the thing to remember when we're doing that is we need to find images that are JPEGs, okay? Because otherwise we won't be able to work with them in Photoshop. Once we've found some images we're happy with, we're going to save them somewhere. We're going to be able to find them and name some uh, and name them something we're going to be able to remember. Then we're going to click File. We're going to click Open. Okay. Now you will then find uh, where your images are saved. My images are saved here as such. I'm going to start by editing this church image. So you will pick the image you want to edit. And you're going to click Open, and that will open it in Photoshop. Okay, so here I have this church image now. It's currently quite a happy looking sunny day uh, at this church, wherever this image was taken. Uh, and that's not quite what I'm after. So one of the things that you can do is if you come over here just above the gradient tool that we used previously, you're going to see we have this eraser tool. So it'll probably start off as just the eraser. But when we click uh, when we hold down on that, we'll be able to swap it to the magic eraser. Now this magic eraser, fingers crossed, there we go, is going to allow us to delete large sections of our image that we might not want. Okay, so I'm not too worried about these lines here. I'm not after perfection. Uh, I just want to delete as much of that as possible. I'm just focusing on the church. Then what I can do is I can use some of the techniques we've been looking at in the past couple of weeks to make it a little bit more of a suitable image. So the first thing I'm going to do so I'm going to click image, I'm going to go to adjustments, and I'm going to make it black and white. Because I think a black and white image looks a little bit more spooky than that happy colourful church we had previously. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click image, I'm going to go to adjustments again, and I'm going to alter the contrast, which I know is something we've also looked at. And I'm going to make it darker and a little bit spooky, a little bit gloomy. Okay, I'm happy with that. Now you'll see all these sections have, appeared, have started to crop up and they're a lot easier to see now than they were previously. So what I'm quickly going to do is I'm going to swap to my standard eraser. I'm going to increase the size of the eraser and I'm just going to get rid of those best I can, like so. Okay, now when I'm happy with my image, which I am, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this image and place it within my poster. Now, in order to do that, sometimes you will see that there is a little padlock here on the right of your image. If that is the case, just double click it, a menu will pop up, you will click OK, and that will unlock the image. If your image is already unlocked, like mine is, that's fine, you don't need to worry about that. So what we're going to do then, is we're going to make sure we've got our move tool selected, we're going to click our image, we're going to hold down the left button, we're going to drag it over to our poster tab. Now when it swaps to the poster tab, we can then drag it, we've not let go this entire time, onto our poster. Okay, now what we can see is that image is way too small for what we want it for. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold control and I'm gonna press T. And that's going to let me transform and resize my image. So I'm gonna make this image a bit bigger. When I'm happy with the size of my image, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here and I'm going to click this tick and you'll see the image becomes unblurred uh, and then we can just move it around to suit our needs as we see fit. Okay and now once again I can see there's quite a few of these little colour patches that I'm not happy with so I'm just going to get rid of those, I'm going to make my eraser even bigger and I'm just going to neaten it at the bottom here. Oh. I made a mistake there, so I'm going to hold control and press Z. And that will get rid of my mistake and undo it. Okay, I'm happy with my church now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in my next image. So I'm going to come to File, Open. This time I want Mr. Reaper. I'm going to open the image. 
once again, I'm going to use my magic eraser tool to get rid of this background. I am now happy with that. There's a clear background. Once again, the padlock has disappeared and all the image is unlocked. I'm going to drag this across to my tab, place it within my work. Now, two things about this. I want the Reaper to be behind the church and I need to change the size of him. So in order to make the Reaper appear behind the church, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to the layers and I'm going to change the order of the layers. Now we can't see the Reaper anymore, so we're going to drag him up here for a bit. I'm going to hold control and press T again to transform. And we're going to resize him. Okay. That's a little bit better. I'm going to hide him behind the church like so. And I'm going to click the plus. I'm happy with that. I can maybe bring my church down a little bit so I can see a little bit more of him. There we go. Okay. So I have other images that I'm going to bring in and use later. But for now, uh, what I'd like you to do is have a go. Uh, bringing some images into your poster using some of the techniques we've looked at to edit them uh, a little and add them to your poster okay what we're going to look at next after this is how we can uh, bring our text back into our poster and how we can change it a little to make it more suitable how we can edit our text those kinds of things okay <laughs>